Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another edition of Hilal Live. My name is Lukman Shadrak, all the way from our Cape Town studios. Thanks for watching us on uh, Channel 347 on DSTV. As it is, it's Friday. It's uh, heading towards the weekend. It's almost there. Uh, if you are stuck at work or on your way home, I hope uh, you have a safe journey uh, to your destination. As, as we do on a Friday, we have a little more relaxed uh, topics as well. And uh, every Friday, I like to invite people in talk about what's going on in our beautiful city and around the country in some parts as well and uh, our section called what's on and today very privileged and honored to have in studio marketing manager at the Baxter Theatre Fahim Stellenbaum assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam how wonderful to be here it's my absolute We've been pleasure trying we haven't for seen a while. Each- absolutely we, we have trying. not seen each other for a while we've but been trying to get together and i'm glad this is happening and we Are you the well? cold is in the wettest day oh my gosh did you swim here no. <laughs> I'll leave that for some yeah. yeah, it is raining in Cape Town. So do we wish you a safe journey on the Absolutely. roads as well. Fahim, uh, you know, you've been with the Baxter for many years, but also mm-hmm. been around in the arts industry as well for yes. many years. Thank you for all your wonderful contributions because it's allowed some of our budding artists, allowed some of our, our playmakers and writers and producers to hone their skills Absolutely. at one of the most iconic venues in the Western Cape and I would imagine in the world as well, the Baxter Theatre. The arts industry we all know took a bit of a knock after COVID mm-hmm. or even before COVID, you know, things were quite tough as well. But COVID just exacerbated the the limit uh, to which one could work. You know, there was no work at some time. Have we recovered since? We have, to a large extent. It was a big knock, you know, because for the most part, we were either completely closed Mm. during hard lockdown or we ended up having to play to 50 people. So there's no way that you can recover costs to having to pay artists, having to pay actors, having to pay technicians, the money that they, the salaries that they are used to, mm. and it would have been unfair. Of course. And so with the result that also when it was those sort of very low numbers of 50 or 100 only, mm. that most theaters decided that they will not open anyway because okay. it's, going to, it's going to cost them money. Right. And at a time like that, you know, there wasn't money to start off with anyway. And so alhamdulillah, we've recovered very beautifully. And I mean, nice. one thing that I maintained during um, COVID and, and we all kind of always felt that, was the fact that most importantly when we get beyond this pandemic Mm -hmm. people are going to have the need to be in the spaces of theaters whether they're coming there to laugh for comedy or whether they're coming to see drama that kind of make them shift that make them feel that make them uh, you know feel some kind of movement within Mm -hmm. their own value systems and their own you know worlds and and alhamdulillah we have um, it's been it's been quite good yeah. people are rushing to come and see shows i mean the the jai funny festival that we that finished just uh, uh, not so long ago yeah. um was at like 99.9% oh, sales and it's i think record sales for for them nice. which is great because next year the festival will be 25 years old you wow. know and what else also was incredible about it is that there was one international act and all the other acts, there's usually about six on per night, um, were all Cape Town based. Brilliant. That's you know, what I like to hear. You know, so that was great because often it brings down artists. Eddie Kassar brings down artists from other parts of the country. Yeah. This was uh, all Cape Town boys and girls and it was it was incredible. And of course, as you know, it also had that great slot mm. of, um, that Yasin Barnes runs. Yes. Of where they kind of look for young um, up and coming talent. Up, exactly, yeah. yeah. I was going to propose that perhaps you should try and. Um, um, but um, I don't know if there's an age limit. <laughs> I think more like a funny limit, because okay. I think I have my limits there. <laughs> yes, but stand up comedy is such an art yeah, as absolutely. well. It hones in on your acting yes. skills. Yes, um, and we have some of the greatest. I remember there, are, there were little venues in Cape Town yes. where they would have these. Uh, uh, stand-up comedy yes, nights absolutely. where they encourage the up-and-coming yes. artists and it's it's really produced some amazing amazing talent and let's face it we aren't short of talent yeah. in, in in the Western yeah. Cape but you see also with comedy like it is for when it comes to drama the whole thing is about being able to capture the audience mm. and moreover also to tell stories right because through that comedy you're yes. telling a story they kind of take you along on a journey on a story mm. with you and and it happens to be that you also laugh in the process. Of course. Sometimes you, you know, with when it's in drama, 
the, the, there's a cathartic experience mm -hmm. about crying. There's yeah. a, cathartic, you know, a cathartic movement that happens for us, and it's, it's fundamental. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's exciting to see that, yes, we have kind of bounced back, and audiences have bounced back yes. because they have that need. I mean, theater is something that is almost inexplicable. I mean, yeah. as you know, it goes back to 600, um, you course, know. Of BC. BC, you know. Yeah. And so it's been in existence for long, and I think there's, there's this, it sits with us at a different level. You know, if you watch a play that is beautiful and the story, particularly the magnificence of the story, and we have so many stories to tell in this country. Of course. Not only historically, but also currently. You Look, know? I mean, in the Western Cape, if you've ever taken public transport, yes. no matter where you Absolutely. are and what mode of public transport, yes. that's a, there's a story in there. Absolutely. You know, because you hear such wonderful people expressing themselves. Um, so this is where a lot of our comedians yeah. get their, get their uh, material yeah. from. I mean, yeah. Mark Lottery. In fact, to the point that uh, uh, we do Hilal Live, and yeah. uh, after 6.30, uh, Faraz Patel takes over yes, and the okay. team, and he's actually got a comedian on tonight oh, uh, from Johannesburg. So Lovely. he's going to be speaking to, to somebody very oh, funny. Good. So viewers, do look out for that as well. Um, what are some of the newer acts that have come to our shores, you know, uh, to, you know particularly to Cape Town? Um, do we still have international acts coming? Is it still very local? Um, it is, for the most part. You, uh, one thing that I need to stress is that the the theatre scene and the art scene in the Western Cape, particularly, but also in the country, mm. but very much so in the Western Cape, is thriving. Nice. You know, we have incredible artists. We have committed artists who do beautiful work, and they kind of go and find the stories, and they go, they access it from where they come from. Mm -hmm. And that's what you want to hear, because you want to be able to hear somebody's story and of think, course. that's my story, yes. and I can identify with that. Yes. And I'm sort of so, you know, my grand grandparents did the same sort of thing, or my parents did the same sort of thing. And so that's what's important, and that's what I think is the success, and how, how theatre makes you, you, you shift. Mm -hmm. um, I will refer a lot to this thing about shifting, because when you walk out of the auditorium and mm. you feel that there's something sitting with you and you the next day it's still in and you move you've you've grown yeah. you've you know there's been some kind of development in your own growth which is fundamental i think to the experience of being in a theater and and uh, or, or, or an auditorium mm -hmm. so so what is happening is that great work is being developed here mm. and going overseas our production for example which we're going to talk about some more life and times of Michael Kay. Mm -hmm. We have a very limited season here. It's a short okay. run. We're on at the moment. We're only on until next um, uh, Saturday, the 15th. Okay. Yeah. But from here, it goes to the Galway Festival in Edinburgh. Oh, we wow. were invited to that be. That is fantastic. To, to Congratulations. Thank you. You know, so it's the, and and, they, and the, some of our artists are, and then from there, the Galway Festival at the end of July, we go for the whole of August nice. to the Edinburgh Festival, wow. which is the World Cup, of course, of, um, of, of theatre. Yeah. And there are a couple of South Africans who are performing on the festival, you know, it's there's more than so there's nice. more than more than just the Baxter Theatre that's there, and we've got some visuals on the screen now of uh, really? Michael K. Yes, uh, the Life and Times. So Life. tell us a bit more about. So Life and Times of Michael K. is um, is a book by J M Kutsia. J M Kutsia is a well known South African, as you know. He uh, lectured at UCT as a professor there. He mm -hmm. also won. Uh, Pulitzer Prize for his contribution to literature. This particular book, Life in Times of Michael K., which is a Cape Town story, mm. won the Booker Prize. So he's no, um, you know, he's a, he's a big, he's a big guy. And, um, and we've got some wonderful actor, actors and actresses. We've got Sandra Princely, who's Lou, and a Barclay name. Is in it absolutely, Correct. and Fanny Swaisa, who's one of our kind of again, you know, yes. she's kind of younger than the other two, but you <laughs> yeah. know, she's certainly um, on a, a lot of movies. And um, but what is also exciting with this is that it's it was adapted for the stage with the blessing um, of J.M. Kutsia by Lara Foote, who was also the CEO and the artistic director at the Baxter Theatre. Right. And she'd always wanted to work with the Handspring Puppet okay. Company. Now, I mean, they really are poster kids in many ways yeah. because the Handspring Puppet Company, they won um, a Tony Award. They did War Horse that I think stole the hearts of, okay. of people all over the world. The one with the horse and then the army and the, the, right, the, right, the, right, some right. years ago. Yeah. And interestingly, so they are sort of di did the adaptation in collaboration with Lara. They kind of felt that this story, which is a Cape Town story, it's a fictional story. Yeah. The story essentially goes about Michael Kay and his mother. He's a simple man. He's a okay. gardener. Okay. He has a relationship and a love for the earth mm -hmm. and to work with the earth. He, you know, he has a, a hair lip. Um, and and then that you know is an affliction that he has to to, to uh, live with, and so uh, the the story is told by narrators, mm -hmm. but with 
with puppets. Amazing. And it is absolutely beautifully done. It's an, you know, it, um, because you look at three manipulators, you look at three different people operating the puppet. Mm -hmm. The one is the voice and the emotion and operates at the same time. So yeah. it's, it's, it's multi-layered. There's, there's film. Uh, Cape Town's um, going through a civil war at the time and yeah. his mom wants to go back to Prince Albert where she was born. She wants to go and die there. So that's essentially the story. And it's, um, and it's epic in its scale. We've got music by Carl Shepard that he composed um, especially for it. Uh, as I said, we've got layers of film on top of the set Amazing. and things. And it's an exciting production and for us a big one. In many Amazing. ways, it is, it's an epic production. Yeah. We're going to take a short ad break. When we come back, we want to hear a bit more about this amazing production. We're chatting to Fahim Stellenboom, who is the marketing manager at the Baxter Theatre. But he's going to be joining on, uh, us on uh, this uh, slot for What's On, letting us know exactly what's happening in the beautiful uh, area of uh, the Western Cape, but also some parts of South Africa as well. And we're going to chat a bit more about that uh, when we are when we do come back. Uh, thanks for watching us on Channel 34. Seven, you are still tuned in to Hilal Live. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to uh, Hilal Live uh, from our Cape Town studios. I'm Lukman Shadrach. In studio with me on What's On is uh, Fahim Stellenboom, who's chatting about some of the amazing uh, work that we can look forward to by our phenomenal artists uh, right here in the Western Cape. And uh, over the next couple of weeks, uh, we're going to be unpacking what happens around the country as well and adding in some twists and surprises along the way as well. So do stay tuned every Friday at five o'clock, inshallah, with uh, Fahim Stellenboom. Fahim, before the break, we were chatting about the life and times of Michael K, which yes. is uh, animated, it's well, puppet, uh, and also but just the most amazing cast, yeah. producers, technicians, all, you know, being part of this yeah. wonderful production. Uh, when does this run until? It runs until the 15th, okay. which is next Saturday. Um, performances are 7 p.m. in the evening. Okay. There are two matinees on okay. a Saturday, okay. but with this coming Saturday the 8th, and then okay. on the 15th right. at 2 p.m. It runs at about just under two hours, but okay. it is unbelievable how people have responded to it. Brilliant. Because we've cut the production in terms of its length, yeah. um, um, because you can't have an interval because it's going to two international festivals, two of the oh. biggest festivals in the world. They don't play to intervals, I see. you know, because people kind of at interval they leave and then they don't come back. So, so you don't often find um, that um, at festivals. So we're kind of playing it here at the Baxter as if it would play in Edinburgh. And interestingly, last night one of the uh, an editor of one of the um, publications wrote and she sort of uh, on her on Facebook she was very flattering and very glowing about it and she was sort of saying that she felt as if she was sitting in Edinburgh because it was that kind of, you know, that slickness and stuff and she'd been there before. Amazing. Um, so, so it's streamlined, very, very nicely streamlined and we are very grateful that, um, that you can see, sort of see the, I mean, the, the puppetry. So, so there we go, that's a, a beautiful picture okay. um, with all of them. So you literally have three of the manipulators or uh, puppeteers and only, we only have four puppeteers in the show, the I others see. are all actors. Amazing. So they had to learn, you know, so wow. there's so many lovely, beautiful dimensions to it and and the life that is brought to these puppets, it's yeah. just art, artistry within itself. Great. So yeah, we're on until next week and of course booking for these days, most theatres, um, you can book through, um, uh, well, the one of shows Cricket, but mostly it's, it's, it's web tickets. So. Yeah online. Web tickets, what is great about them also is that you can also, if you struggle with going online, pick and pay stores. You know, oh, there we go. There there's we a go. pick and pay store near, near yeah. most of us. I of suppose. course. Yeah. So <laughs> what are some of the other productions that we can look forward to? So I thought what I'll do is we'll chat a little bit about what, uh, you know, school holidays now and what um, people can do for the school holidays and for their, with their children. And I'm going to start, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to start with um, Cape Town Opera. Okay. So they are doing Cinderella. Oh, nice. But what is fantastic about it is that it's, it's, a, it's a fun production of Cinderella. I mean, Cinderella is one of the more popular um, stories amongst young kids and things. Yeah. And you wouldn't imagine that it's an opera, you know, et cetera. But put that aside and kind mm -hmm. of, you know, stop, leave your judgments at home. Of course. And come and see something that is exciting for the children. Lovely. There are 22 dancers who are mostly young kids from the Waterfront Theatre School, oh, wow. from very young age in it. So it's a it's a it's an epic production. It you know it's it's fun. There are masks they wear. Um, 
uh, quick changes uh, with masks. There's a pumpkin on stage. They're transforming into so all the tricks that they've used with that, you know, and it goes with opera. Um, and I think works exceptionally well. I mean, nice. I really, it was made for July school holidays Brilliant. for the whole family. Brilliant. And um, <clears throat> that one comes to an end tomorrow. Okay. Um, so there's only a performance this evening at eight o'clock. Uh, tomorrow often at two o'clock, and then again in the evening at eight o'clock. But it's great. Great family entertainment, and nice. you know it's good, clean fun. Sure, it's as I said, one of the um, the classic um, uh, kiddies stories. Um, it would be great to see our own stories, and, and that's going to happen at the Baxter. <coughs> that is on at Artscape. At the Artscape, Artscape My Opera House. Okay. Yeah, sorry, right. I should also have said that. Yeah, that's at Artscape Opera House. Okay, I'm talking about other theaters. Oh, the, oh, well. Thank you so <laughs> much. Yes. Well, the Artscape so beautiful as well. You Absolutely. know, they have, um, is that on ice or is that on? No, no, uh, it's uh, no, no, uh, regular. Is, yeah, no, no, it's it's an opera. Okay, so, gotcha. Yeah, so, okay. so it's, it's not I think a, they've had it on ice before as well. Yes. If I, yeah, no, no, absolutely. Yeah, right. yeah, I, I did see that as well. In fact, I took my parents to that. Oh, lovely, ago, yeah, lovely. Yeah. Okay, uh, what are some <clears> of the other productions happening? The other one, which is made for families and for kids, there's three shows every day: ten o'clock, eleven thirty, I think, and or eleven twelve thirty. I, I can check those times for you. Eleven twelve thirty and two p.m. And that is Alice in Wonderland. Oh, lovely. Another sort of classic. And again, I mean, these are beautiful classics and kids know them. They learn all about them. Yeah. But we want to develop those young people of who's going to write our own little fairy tales oh, and our own stories and our own. Um, but be that as it may, this is on Canal Walk. Okay. Um, it's, and it's very popular. I mean, it's uh, what is great about what the Canal Walk also does, I think they really sort of a. Uh, a retail space that make an effort. Nice. Um, and so you, there's little kiosks outside where you can buy combos of a Coke and a popcorn as if you were going to a movie, etc. Nice. It's unreserved seat. Uh, anybody under two years old will sit on your lap and they don't okay. pay to go to 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 end uh, to, to to watch the show. But it's real graph and, and it's very popular, as mm. you can imagine, mm. because mm. parents are looking for things oh, absolutely. to do with the children. Look, I know oh, some right. of my friends are really, after the first couple of days, like, when are the kids going back to school? No, yeah. you can entertain them. There are things to yes. do. Yes, the, you know, the weather can be a little dodgy at time, but just take your precautions. I have to um, tell you. Do they have that, <coughs> before you go, sorry, sorry to break your words, do they have that in the center court? Yes, in oh, the center court, nice. yeah. But what is for me incredible this year, for some reason, I don't know if it's post but how many people had gone? away. Oh, that's also true. I, yeah. I was very surprised. People and have been waiting for yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. I you had know. friends that just took a trip to Otsu now yes, as well, and they're absolutely. coming back. They're on their way back. Had a fantastic time. Yeah. It's because people have been waiting to get out yeah. and about and enjoy our beautiful As country. a unit, as a family, with community, and it's, it's, uh, and it's fundamental. That's the one thing we missed during COVID. Absolutely. And as long, you know, yeah, that we weren't no, able to engage with our families. Mm. So I listen to Wonderland, highly recommend it. It okay. is, it is, as I said, there are three shows every day mm -hmm. um, at ten o'clock, uh, eleven o'clock, sorry, uh, twelve thirty, and at two p.m. Brilliant. And it's 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 just great fun, you know. And um, and what Fred Abram so directed it, what they always do is that they use a actors who perform professionally in more serious productions as wow. well. So you're getting great um, artistic integrity, mm -hmm. um, beautiful costumes done by Marcel Mayer. Um, and again, I mean, it's something that I would really recommend if you're looking and want. And this goes through until next Sunday, Brilliant. the 16th. So there's still time. I think there's another week of the school holidays. And I think so, yes. Yeah. So if yes. they haven't yet been to see Alice in Wonderland, I mean, it's a, again, it's a sweet story. It's a classic story. It's fun. Um, and you can, kids, I think, up until the age of 10, 12 can still enjoy Absolutely. it. You know, if you, if you think that you do... To big at 12 is all for it. You can at least appreciate the production value that it's not an amateur production. It's well put together and it's well made. And then the fun, of course, of being in, in a shopping center. Of it's course. Always the, that's, yeah. that's the one thing that parents want to do, you know. Absolutely. Whenever the, the, the day, the Sunday evening, before the uh, the Monday was the first day of the public, of, of, the, of the school holidays, mm -hmm. I took my dad to, um, to go and watch a movie, um, The Fast and Furious 10, because yeah, yeah, yeah. he wanted to see it. And I thought, oh, this is not quite my scene but yeah. it was like adrenaline high junky sort of you know an incredible very, but great fun but what was for me more interesting was that it was already that weekend they broke up schools broke up on the friday yeah on that sunday the evening the eight o'clock show mm -hmm. was packed I can imagine. with the, the, and, the, and i sort of said you guys must go home these <laughs> kids must go and sleep i said to most of the parents you know so it's it's, it's great fun and it's wonderful things to be able to do and so i thought i'd highlight those two productions 
because they are perfect for, for the nice. whole family. Okay, I think kids will look forward to that, yeah. parents as well. Absolutely. Are there any other productions you would like to tell us about uh, that's happening in our beautiful city? <clears throat> so, I mean, for people who love dance, we have also at the Baxter Upstairs a uh, production called um, Set in Motion. It's done by Figure of Eight. Okay. And we had, um, tonight, we, there, there's some kids, um, I think they are, let me get this right, grade eight. Okay. Uh, sorry, no, grade six. Sort of Standard standard yeah, four. four. Standard four. four yes. There we go, I had to think about that. Yes, no, well, I, yeah, <laughs> anyway, it's giving our age away. <laughs> but nothing wrong with that. So, so it's a dance production, and it, it kind of talks about the internal and external forces that pull us from one side to the other side. So the kind of the deeper meanings of what's going on in terms of what adults are dealing with, you know, that oh, there are wow. always external and internal forces, but beautifully put together with, with um, they use a lot of cloth, Nice. And they use the cloth kind of to unfold themselves out of and kind of engage with and things. And it's done by the figure of eight um, company. It's done. Um, it's a, a two um, uh, partners that that um, have the company, Grant and Sean, and they are basically stars in the dance Stunning. in the dance world. And, well, that's and nice. so there's you know because often kids, a lot of the kids love dance. And and again, I mean, I wouldn't say anybody under three simply because the child the Parents need to bear in mind yes. that the kids get restless. Of you know, course, you know. yes. But older than that, I mean, they they, they, ha they had a little, I think, five year old in, at the opening night last night. Okay. So five you know, and, years yeah, old. But it's a it's a little five year old uh, dancer oh, in the sweet. making already. You know, oh, and she man. was she was engrossed, you know, because she's and of course the movement with these cloths that they use yeah. was was a, very interesting. So that's also on until the fifteenth at the Baxter at 8 o'clock in the evening. Brilliant. Okay, so there we go. That's uh, what's on, what's happening at the Baxter and at Canal Walk, and we also covered the Artscape as well. I uh, love the Artscape. I mean, they're brilliant uh, team production. Absolutely. Uh, headed up by uh, is... Uh, Marlene LaRue. Marlene LaRue, who's yeah. just something else. Yeah. Do you love uh, the Baxter equally, of course? I, 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 look, <laughs> I was going to say, you see, you didn't let me finish. So, yes, uh, <laughs> second, my second best <laughs> to dig there. Uh, but, you know, it's just appreciating our talent we have Absolutely. in the Western Cape, and also the various um, uh, organizations that provide the platform yeah. Yeah. for our artists as well. So thank you and, and all your colleagues for always being there for our, for our talented Absolutely. people, and not so talented people as well, because it gives them that platform to, to, grow to grow and develop them Absolutely. as well, and it's fundamental that that place yeah. grows. Yeah. But I mean, Good. we all have talent. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. I look forward to next week's edition, Lovely. and uh, I believe we have a little bit of a surprise next week, so look forward to that. Uh, inshallah. Thanks so much. Uh, keep fighting the good fight. Have a great weekend. Salam alaikum. Wonderful to be here. Walaikum salam. And that's uh, what's on on uh, Hilal Live. We're going to take a short ad break. When we come back, uh, we link up with Askab Job. Uh, if you're wanting to get fit like myself, um, coming into winter and get uh, ready for summer, Askab is going to give us some fabulous tips on how to do that. You are still watching Hilal Live.